Welcome to the sketch series. This entry is part of Philippine or local architecture. How's the first two video of this series? Actually, the next buildings are adjacent to Manila City Hall and old legislative building. The National Museum of Anthropology and the National Museum of History is called Agrippina Building before. Agri comes from agriculture and commerce building which is now known as National Museum of Natural History and FINA stands for Finance Building which is the National Museum of Anthropology. Both buildings are neoclassical in style and is designed by architect Antonio Toledo in late 1930s. It is also included in Burnham's plan for Manila. This twin building is located along Rizal Park, specifically in Agrippina Circle. They have the same dimension and floor plan since they faced and mirrored each other. The National Museum of Anthropology at the north, while the National Museum of Natural History at the south of Agrippina Circle. The building has a central court which serves as a breathing space allowing air to enter inside. And like other neoclassical style, it also has Corinthian colonnades. Both buildings are also damaged during Japanese-American War, just like what happened to Old Legislative Building and Manila City Hall. It is then rebuilt with the same design. Let's focus more on National Museum of Natural History. Like I've said, it is originally the Agriculture and Commerce Building, and then it became Department of Tourism. Architect Dominic Galicia won in a close competition to transform the Department of Tourism building. They proposes a circular glass and steel canopy that will crown the central courtyard of the building. The sculptural element that became a focal point of the courtyard is a double helix which represents the shared DNA of all living things. Architect Galicia gets his inspiration from talking to a scientist, collecting leaf specimen to get its DNA. That idea creates the Tree of Life concept of the museum. They restore the original plan of architect Antonio Toledo's neoclassical facade, interior, and intent for the building but with a mix of architect Galicia's transformation to it. The National Museum of Natural History opened its door to public in 2018. It became an attraction since then because of its Instagrammable look. That's it! If you want to know further about the topic, you can check the links that I provided on the description box below. I just wanted to thank all the people that supported me through this channel. Let's support other local YouTuber or artists. I hope you get inspired, entertained, and learned something. Don't forget to subscribe for more interesting facts and other videos. And to be notified, just click the bell button. Thank you for watching. Let's remember, practice makes progress.